right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Big! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. All right, you can lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the many takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Unable to connect with the right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a punch there. Accuracy at its best. Good jab. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What follow up a beautiful strike like that feed with? We'll see very short. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. And they are exchanging leather on it.
Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice loop and punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand counter there. Oh, big head kick. Right closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Slips to avoid the right. Tags him with the left. Jockey into position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. A good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. in that kick. And they separate. Left hand punch in the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch, land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got the single collar tie. The elbows only tonight. He loaded up on that right hand, too. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he landed the right hand there. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Back to his feet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Back to switch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. While right, right, right. we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Blocks the shot. Both his hands up. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Can't take many of those. You better check. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful right hook counter. 
Hard single collar tie now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches to nice entry. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happened to this guy with the double leg. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big kick. Back and forth we go. Ooh. Oh! Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Nice punch there. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touched it. Oh, nice over. grab it by him there. Take down defense on point. Blocks that strike. Huge knee lands. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. And they separate. Big call for the win. Now we get back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Back and forth we go. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. This guy cannot miss the head for his strikes. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. That was beautiful, man. Yeah, hurt. Should have put him away. He was hurt. He was ready for that fight. Well, all right. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of
of slowing down tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, he just hurt him, he just hurt him. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the elbow there. Big head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Ooh, what a punch. Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Time to shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very accurate. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. And they separate. Nice kick. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice defense to block the elbow. He's just out of range with the big right hand. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big punch lands. Ooh. Got the single collar tie. Big kick lands. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. It had not happen very often. Oh, huge block! If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Now connects with a right. Single collar tie now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clean. Waning seconds here of round number three. Nice punch, man. That's Great three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. 
they both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, nice. somebody's going to sleep. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Caught the kick. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight punch lands. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That was a nice strike. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punches plus. A little single collar tie there. Nice leg kick land. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Oh! Get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit. Oh, up. big left hook there. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, that's very important. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Able to check the high kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Right hand punch the clinch. Both fighters here. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Just misses with the jab there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. It's nice head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Under a minute to go in round four. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable! Oh my goodness, what a fight!
you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.